Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to use normal distribution or the bell curve to calculate probability and percentage using technology. So the one that we're going to be using today would be an applet and the scientific calculator. I will put the link of the applet in the description box below. Before we take the first example, let's have a review on the normal curve. The normal curve is sometimes called as the bell curve because the shape of this curve is like a bell. Now notice that the center of this normal curve is the mean and this mean divides this curve into two parts. We have the left side and then we have the right side. Now again notice that this left and right side are symmetric to each other. Symmetric means if I fold this curve on this side this way through the mean as the axis of symmetry these sides are going to be on top of each other so that we call these two sides are symmetric to each other now notice another important feature of this normal curve this ends or these tails that we have here are asymptotic asymptotic means they are approaching closer and closer to this horizontal line but they're not going to touch it they, they are asymptotic so this is like the asymptote. This horizontal line is the asymptote. It's just going to get closer and closer to it, but it's not going to touch it. Now, another important feature for this normal curve is that it is divided into parts or segments. So um, from the mean, if we go down here, this line that I have created here is one standard deviation below the mean. Now standard deviation is a number that tells us how deviated. Deviated means how spread apart are the values. So this is one standard deviation below the mean that's to the left. And so this other line right here is two standard deviation below the mean. Now we can add some more around here that that's the th uh, three standard deviation below the mean. On the other side, uh, going up to the right, that's going to be one standard deviation above the mean. And this is two standard deviation above the mean. So that's the normal curve right there. Let's take this first example right here. The S80 test in math is normally distributed with a mean of 500 and standard deviation of 150. What percent of high school senior took the SAT that received a math score of above 550? So let's take this first example right here. So what are we going to do is we are going to um, draw the normal curve for this. We can use the normal distribution here since uh, in this problem it says that the, the data is normally distributed. So we can use the bell curve or the normal distribution um, curve. So if we want to draw the uh, normal curve for this, so this is how it's going to look like. Okay, so what I did here was I drawn, I've drawn the normal curve. We say that the mean is 500, so I put the mean in the middle, and it says that the standard deviation is 150, so up one standard deviation above the mean is 650 because we're adding 500 plus 150 is 650. Since we're talking about above 550, so that should be somewhere around here. And so we're interested to determine the area under this curve that is ab above 550. So again, this um, spot right here is 550. On the side, you will see the applet that we're going to use in order to solve for the area under this uh, curve or this shaded part right here. So what are we going to do is on this applet, you will have to put first the mean, which is 500, and then the standard deviation, which is 150. So you put them on the right boxes. And then we are supposed to tick above and then we put in 550. So we can see that the value that we have is 0 0.3694 or in percentage, this is 36.94%. So as you can see on the picture, we have 
actually have the same um, shaded area that is to the right of 550. So this picture matches up to the one on the applet. So this means that there are 36.94% of the students actually have a score above 550. Now let's use another way to uh, figure out this value now using the calculator. So when we use the calculator, we're going to follow these um, steps right here. So I have this uh, TI-84 calculator right here. So what are we going to do is we are supposed to hit the second and then we hit the bars and then we go down to two. So I go scroll down to two for normal CDF and then I hit enter and then the normal CDF is set up for me. Now, in this case right here, we are supposed to uh, put in values. First is the lower bound. So we already have set up the normal CDF right there. So what are we going to do is we have the, uh, after the normal CDF, we're going to put in the lower bound. The lower bound here is this bound right here, which is 550. And then we're going to put in the upper bound since this one is going all the way to infinity. So this is getting all the way to infinity here. So five, 500, 550, 650, all the way to infinity. So then this means that our upper bound is infinity. So this is our lower bound, which is 550. And then our upper bound is infinity, but we will use just the number 1000. So this just use 1000 for the upper bounds. So it's gonna go all the way to 1000. So when we type this in, we are going to have uh, the lower bound is 550. So I type in 550 and then comma, we have um, the upper bound is 1000 and then um, comma and then the mean that we have again is uh, 500 and then the standard deviation is 150 close parentheses and that gives us 0 0.3690 which is pretty close to the ones that we have here so there's a little difference it has something to do with the rounding off now let's move on to the next um, example right here so we're looking for the area below 350 so i'm gonna draw the uh, normal curve right here Okay, so I've set up the um, a normal curve here. Again, our mean is 500 and then one standard deviation below the mean is 350. So that's what we're looking for. So that's 350. We can go ahead and uh, we're interested to determine the area of this side below 350. Okay, again, we have two methods to determine the area for this. We are going to um, use the applet and we're going to use the calculator. So let's start with the applet first. So what are we going to do is, again, we always make sure that we have the uh, 500 and 150 on the boxes for mean and standard deviation. And we're going to tick below and then type in 350 and hit recalculate, we can see that the value here is 0 0.1587 or in percentage, this is 15.87%. So pretty much 15.87% of the students scored below 350. She, by the way, as you can see here, the area under the curve on the picture that we have here is the same area under the curve in the applet. Now let's use the calculator to determine this values. Again, we use the same um, steps right here. So we start with second, then we go to VARS, then we go to two normal CDF, hit enter. And then first, this is our upper bound, which is 350. Then this one goes to negative infinity. So, um, because this is going to the negative side. The other one was going to the positive side. So this one's going to negative infinity. So because it's it's redu it's going down. So 500, 350, 300, all the way to negative infinity. So instead of um, using infinity, we're just gonna use the uh, lower bound would be um, negative 1000. So this is our lower bound. The upper bound is 
the rightmost uh, part and then the lower bound is the leftmost part. So the lower bound that we have here is negative 1000. So we set up already the uh, normal CDF right there following these steps here. So I'm gonna put in the uh, lower bound which is negative 1000. And then we have the upper bound is 350 and then the mean is 500 and then the uh, standard deviation is 150 and close parentheses and so the value that we have is 0 0.1586 the one that we have here so I rounded it off to 87 so that's how we got 15.87 Let's have the next um, one right here. So we have between 300 and 500. So let's draw the normal curve here. Okay, so we're looking for the area between 300 and 500. So what are we gonna do now is we will use the applet. So again, we make sure that the boxes for the mean are filled in with 500 and the standard deviation is 150. And so we are going to go between and then we are going to um, determine, so we're going to go between we, we take between and then put in 300 and 500 as you can see we should be able to get a value of 0 0.4088 or pretty much 40.88 percent scored between 300 and 500 that's it if you found this video helpful hit like and subscribe for more math videos see ya